In this class, we're going to talk about a very powerful technique called mathematical induction. I'm going to demonstrate it to you by proving this result. If you take any power of 10 and subtract 1, you'll get a whole number multiple of 9. For example, take 10 to the power of 6 and subtract 1. Emmy, what number is that? 10 to the power of 6 is a 1 followed by 6 zeros. That's 1 million. Then take away 1. Right. So that's just a whole bunch of 9s. In fact, the standard name for this number consists of exactly 6 9s. That's definitely a multiple of 9. Obviously. So there's nothing to prove. It's just common sense. Don't you want to know if it works for all powers of 10? I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, we could test a few more if it makes you feel better. We could test a few more examples, and perhaps with each example you would feel more confident that the result is always a whole number multiple of 9, but there's a better way. If I could prove to you that no matter what example you choose, you'll always get a whole number multiple of 9, then we would all feel better about it. I guess so. I'm going to prove it by mathematical induction, which is just like knocking over a line of dominoes. Suppose you inspected this line and concluded that if any one domino falls, then it will most certainly cause the domino behind it to do the same. Then you could give the first one a shove, and they'd all come crashing down. Exactly, and that's analogous to completing an induction proof, as you'll see. So let's imagine that there are as many dominoes in this line as there are whole numbers. Let's also imagine that if we look closely at these dominoes, they show not spots, but mathematical expressions. Let's pick two of these to look at in detail. If we knock down the front domino, which is marked 9 divides 10 to the power of m minus 1, does it knock down the domino behind it? Well, let's see. Suppose that the front domino shown here is knocked over. In other words, suppose that we know that 9 divides 10 to the power of m minus 1. Does this tell us anything about whether 9 divides 10 to the power of m plus 1 minus 1? 10 to the power of m plus 1 is the product of one more 10 than 10 to the power of m. So 10 to the power of m plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 10 to the power of m times 10 minus 1. The 10 I've highlighted here is, of course, equal to 9 plus 1, so we can substitute 1 for the other. We can then distribute the multiplication of 10 to the power of m into the sum of 9 and 1. Ten to the power of m times one is just ten to the power of m. Now, where have we seen ten to the power of m minus one? It's on the front domino. Very good. So, Ron, how does the front domino help us? I don't know. It's knocked over. Oh, it's knocked over. That's what I said. So it's divisible by 9. What? You are correct. We imagine that we knocked over the first domino, which told us that 9 divides 10 to the power of m minus 1. In other words, for some whole number k, 10 to the power of m minus 1 equals k times 9. Then we can undistribute the 9. So 9 divides 10 to the power m plus 1 minus 1. It's probably not important, but you know that's what's written on the second domino. Of course it's important, Ron. I knew that.
because it means the front domino knocked over the second one. You're right. We showed that if 9 divides 10 to the power of m minus 1, then it also divides 10 to the power of m plus 1 minus 1. In other words, we've shown that if a domino from this line is knocked down, then it will surely knock down the next domino. But we didn't actually prove anything yet, did we? I mean, none of the dominoes are knocked over. Look, Emmy, if you want to knock over a line of dominoes, all you gotta do is find the first one and give it a shove, and trust me, that'll take care of it. Ron's absolutely correct. I am? In order to knock down all the dominoes, we need to find the first one and, as Ron puts it, give it a shove. The question is, where is the first domino? In the closet? No, Ron, he means what's written on the first domino. Bear in mind, we're dealing with the whole numbers, so the first one will read... Zero. You mean nine divides ten to the power zero minus one. Exactly. That's correct. To knock over the first domino, we must show that 9 is a divisor of 10 to the power of 0 minus 1. Of course, 10 to the power of 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 equals 0, and 0 is certainly a whole number multiple of 9. Hence, 9 divides 10 to the power of 0 minus 1, and we have knocked over the first domino. So all the dominoes come crashing down. You mean we proved it was true for all whole numbers? You're both correct. Now, to make it easy to read, mathematicians have agreed on a particular format for the presentation of a proof by induction. This involves the use of code words to indicate which part of the knocking down dominoes process is currently being considered. So, I'll now present a more formal proof of the result so that you too can learn the code words. To start, we immediately set the scene by declaring, we proceed by induction. This alerts the reader to expect two distinct steps. He or she will look for a step in which it is shown that if one domino falls, then the domino that immediately follows will also fall. This is called the induction step. And the other step is... Finding the first domino. And giving it a shove! Exactly. Knocking over the first domino is called proving the base of the induction, and in cases like this, where proving the base is quite trivial, is usually presented first. So, we indicate that we will prove the base. And then, we prove it. We then signal the start of the induction step. In this proof, we declare m to be a whole number and then indicate that we're imagining that the domino with the label 9 divides 10 to the power of m minus 1 has been knocked down. This is called making the induction hypothesis, which we indicate in this manner. We then proceed to show that the domino that follows it will also fall. I'll shorten our previous proof of this, but you'll recognize the main points. The induction step is now complete, and we may proudly declare that all the dominoes have crashed to the ground, that we proved it for all whole numbers, that our proof by induction is complete. <laughs>